Hello, good morning, and welcome to a new video from Power BI Consulting Services. Today, we are diving into a super useful yet often overlooked feature in Power BI, creating custom visual objects, and more specifically, custom maps. Why customs? Well, Power BI doesn't have always include the specific location we need. Sometimes we want to visualize unique areas with between a city, like neighborhoods or districts. They aren't defined in Power BI default maps option. For example, imagine you want to show how sales are distributed across different neighborhoods in a city or how production times vary in different zones of a factory. That's when custom maps become truly powerful. Let's start by creating our own map using the tool Geo Shaysa. This site displays a world map, much like Google Maps, where we can easily draw the area we need in geometric shapes. In my case, I will be using Madrid, the city where I currently live, to show a fictitious example of income distribution by neighborhood. The first step is to search for the city on the map. Later, we click on Draw Rectangular Polygon, which allows us to start driving this drawing the zones we need. We trace each neighborhood by creating a closed polygon, click at each corner to define the area. Once we draw a zone, we can assign any information we want. In this example, we are using a simple table with two columns, the city name Madrid and a category tier 1, 2 or 3, depending on the data we are representing. Alternative. You could use neighborhood names if you need to connect this information with other datasets in your dashboard, like in another project we did, showing real estate prices per square meter over time. Don't worry, I will be making a video on that tool. Once our map is ready, we download it as a tuple JSON file. This format includes all the necessary geography coordinates. Next, we need to convert it into a format that Power BI can read. For that, we will use Mape Shaper. What to do there? Upload in the Topo JSON file, and after that, we export it as a JSON record, which is ideal for use with Power BI Shapes Map Visual. Now, let's move into Power BI. First, we need to enable a specific feature. Go to File, Options and Settings, Options. On the left panel, select Previews, Preview Features. Enable the checkbox from Shape Map Visual, and after that, we restart Power BI to apply the changes. After restarting, you will see a new visual available called Shape Map. Insert it into your report and load your dataset. In our case, we are using the tier field as our location key. Then, in the map settings, scroll to the bottom and choose Custom Map. You will notice there are many map options already built in. Upload the JSON file we export from Map Shaper, and just like that, your custom map is now ready to visualize in Power BI. And that's how simple it is to build customized maps in Power BI, to visualize localized detail and meaningful information. Whatever it is for cities, company, production zones, or any segmentation you need, this is a powerful way to take your dashboard to the next level. If you have any question, comments, or suggestion, drop them below. I personally reply to every message. And if the video helped you, give it a like and subscribe so you don't miss the next one. See you on next video. Bye bye.